Hello everyone, welcome back to a new session on dentistry and more. So today's topic is characteristics of public health work. So how and uh, what are the dimensions of public health work and how public health workers should behave and what are the ideas and concepts he should have in mind. So we have around eight concepts not exactly concepts the dimensions we can say the first thing is a public health worker should always think about group responsibility so recognition of group responsibility because we are serving public so public health work must be done in areas where group responsibility is recognized this concept first leads to quarantine and isolation procedures and later to mass preventive measures. So this is what we are seeing in uh, Corona or COVID-19 scenario. Without group responsibility, the COVID-19 disease cannot be prevented or eliminated from the earth. That is first one, group responsibility. Second one, the public health work relies on team effort. So large group of people can be handled much easier as a team in institutional surroundings with systemic allocation of many procedures to properly supervised auxiliary person. So always team effort is very much important and there should be a systemic allocation, systematic allocation of procedures. The third one is prevention of disease is the main goal. There are three reasons. Why? Because first reason is ethical. That prevention of disease is even greater good in life than cure of disease. So prevention has to be the main goal of public health work than curative services. The next one is concept of medical indigence. Medical indigence means people who are not able to pay the amount because they are socially, economically very deprived. They belong to the lower strata of social status. It constitutes inability to pay large bills for medical care. The situation is chiefly found in case of chronic diseases where a, medica, a, a person is affected with cancer. He needs to pay a very hefty amount that he will not be able to afford. So in that case, the person has to suffer both financially, psychologically. So such persons has to be uh, taken care of or the public health worker. Public health work should always think of such people. So this is, is always considered as a multifactorial problem. Because public health work deals with all sorts of problems involving the host population and the environment beyond the range of individual professional. So when we think of a multifactorial, we can address the disease in a holistic way. Next one is dependence on biostatistical method. The presence of a disease in an individual pa patient can be described on a yes or no basis, but it is not possible in a population because population we have a large number of people and their distribution the determinants are very much different so to prove causation we have to apply statistical method in a public so biostatistics is a key element in public health work public health worker deals with healthy as well as apparently healthy so this is what we are seeing in iceberg phenomena so we are seeing only the tip of iceberg that is clinical patient so we need to do active screening so that identifying the apparently healthy people and disease identifying the disease on apparently healthy people is a key element in producing a disease free community and the last one is adaptation of programs to community culture. So whatever programs we plan 
the implementation part always should think about the community uh, and its cultural background and uh, always think of uh, breaking the cultural barrier in such a way that the cultural sentiments are not hurt because then only if the people are if people accept the program then only we can implement it properly so these are the characteristics of public health work one is recognition of group responsibility team effort prevention uh, medical indigence multifactorial position biostatistics uh, healthy as well as apparently healthy that is a iceberg concept and community cultural adaptation so i'll come up with a new session on 20th framework thank you